Again. Let's go to Monago now. Last time, Dr. Amori oh so politely requested we clean up this Monago mess here, so let's talk to this... Per oh, it's Captain McDonald. Ah, you're here. With everything else going on, I didn't expect this. I have no clue why, but all of Monago's dead just sprang from the ground like zombies. Oh, similar to zombies? So not actually zombies. So it's, it's like a simile. We've got two people in there to save, but my team can't handle the outbreak alone. So that would be Amori and Sashiko. Hope to god you two can take on that horde. It'll be a close fight. It's possible you'll see your parents in the fray too, Linda. Well, that would be less than pleasant to deal with. Brace yourself. Well, let's, let's fight some zombies. Not only will we fight some zombies, let's compare some zombie sprites to the PC Engine zombie sprites. Because these zombies won't appear in Scenario C, so let's show them off here in a moment. So the zombie woman returned to the dust of the earth. Let's... I don't know. I think it really matters if they explode into innards or not. I mean, I'm sure I wouldn't get experience. But, uh, Linda... Cobra... Twist! Or that zombie wooden woman isn't going anywhere. Except back into the soil. But yeah, let's now uh, show off what the zombies look like in the PC Engine version. <clears throat> Next. Alright, zombie attack. Nice red dress. It's reminding me of the Mother 3 zombies. Probably just coincidental. Because, you know, the the boys don't really look like Ness. They don't have the striped shirt somewhat. Oh, this is... Linda, isn't it? Did we not get experience for that fight? I am displeased if that was indeed the case. I may have just not noticed, though. We're gonna find out any second. Yeah, no experience. How do you not get any experience fighting some zombies of all people? Because I thought you got experience when you fought the pol the poachers still. The poachers. The Polish the Polish poachers. Say that three times fast. It'll be hard because you're trying to say a word that isn't a word. Polish poachers? There I said it correctly that time. Oh hey, uh Hey mom, hey dad. Hume still, uh, conveniently doesn't have his arm, but I'm, I'm also noticing that Anne doesn't have her arm. Where'd her arm go? I guess she got disintegrated. Hume- wait, Hume man? Was that- Was that on purpose, Linda Cubed again? Hume man? I just got it. Do I hear zombies groaning? What's that I'm hearing? Yeah, I'll hear it better in the replay. It must be them grumbling. <clears throat> Can I want your brains? Aww. So, uh, Mega Dragonfly. We didn't go and get the... Uh, the Eagle Sword between episodes, because I was busy sitting here for five days, waiting to say again again. Uh, so we might do that this episode. We might do it off-screen. Uh, Cobra Twist. One damage. One damage, because one arm can't lock it in correctly. But here is Hume and Anne in the PC version. Aren't they adorable? Aren't they adorable in fewer bits? Linda got some experience by beating up her zombified parents, though, for what it's worth. Now what? Why are you in... My house. My... my wife's house. Oh, thank you. We knew in our hearts you'd come. Didn't we, Sashiko? Yes, father. I don't believe you, Sashiko. I think you're just following Amori's lead. Linda, those two zombies guarding the house were your parents, weren't they? How'd you guess? Seeing as one of them was missing the arm that you took off of him to attach to my arm, I... Good guess. 
They're protecting the home you might return to. Their love for you carried them. Your parents were amicable human beings, Linda, even in death. For that, you mustn't weep. Oh, God. What? Linda, forgive me. I do all I can. <laughs> Why do you say that? You That's like your catchphrase, Amori, for some reason. I do all I can. That's all I can do. Always. But it's possible a parasite from my lab infected the massacre, massacre victims' corpses before burial. Was it on? Was it on Christmas Eve? Was it a parasite Eve? Even? If I so carelessly cause this outbreak, I'll accept any punishment. Any punishment? But first, let me make a pest yeah a pesticide for all potential carriers. I think this is where we need the the uh, scorpion meat. I'm sorry, Linda. So very, truly sorry. It's possible that you are housing this parasite. Yeah, you're living in my house, so yeah, you I'm housing a parasite already. Right. You're not paying rent. Father, it won't be long before Linda. Sashiko, now's not the time for too late. I will save her. But, Father, Linda already... Silence! As a doctor, I must make this serum for them in return for saving our lives, Sashiko. Now we must be off. Time is of the essence. So I guess you're... Oh, come, Sashiko. You're going back to your... Your home in Hospico? Linda, forgive me. Linda! Linda, until we can get you the serum, any human contact is too dangerous. Even a kiss. It's a good thing she didn't kiss me earlier, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know, let's go upstairs again. I guess we can leave now that we have dispatched all the zombies. Now that we've finished with the Resident Evil section of the game. Do I still have the duck meat in the fridge? Yeah, salted duck. <clears throat> I can't remember if I got that before, or if it's just a case of this game's, uh, respawning treasure chests. I think I mentioned that a few episodes ago, but it seems like treasure chests just respawn sometimes. I haven't tested- Excuse me, I haven't tested this, but I'm wondering if rather than the treasure chest, like, respawning, if it's like, a uh, there's one treasure per season type of thing. Like, if there's technically one of every dungeon. Or four of every dungeon, so there's like four tre- I don't know. But I've noticed that treasures refill themselves sometimes, and I haven't really figured out exactly why. Bye bye. Mom, Dad, bye bye. So that looks like Firebrand on the left, and an almost Mecha Lion on the right. What about the other two? You two spared us a great deal of damage and casualties. Good work. Is, is, is my good work gonna reflect in my pay stub, Captain? I'm heading back to HQ. If you need anything, come see me later. I might do that uh, momentarily here. Let's run back in here for a second to look at these other statues. Oh, uh, that looks kind of like a Gardua, or however you would say it. Can't quite put my finger on this thing Slash Man from Mega Man 7. From Mega Man 7. Yeah, let's just run back to HQ. We have stuff to put into the Ark anyway. So let's do that as well. Uh, let's go here first, though. Let's talk to Mimi and talk to the captain. Nothing else happen happens. We'll go back to the Doga Fights area and see if we can't uh, get more monsters, because there's, there's plenty to the east. Like, we did pick up a couple eagles. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff around there we didn't get, and that watery dungeon that we got the hippo tomahawk and choose from. There you are, Linda. It's good to see you back, isn't it, Ken? It's like Hume always said, lovers stick together. I don't remember if we went to the Rose Garden yet or not and got all the stuff there. I don't think we did. I feel the same way, Ken. Don't you ever leave Linda alone again. I won't. Yeah, let's talk to the captain and what is it? It's 1992. I forget if the pinup girls are different in the different scenarios. They might be. I mean, we can check while we're here. Since we're here, no, captain's not here yet. Yeah, no, we saw that picture of Sashiko already. That's fine. So let's just go back to the ark and deposit the animals we got. 
stats. There we go. Let's get even more stats for everybody. See if we can't get any new abilities, new everything. Oh, there we got Air Cutter, which is a great hit everyone attack. Again, at some point, we're gonna have to get an Eagle Sword by crafting ten Eagles into a sword. Ten male Eagles. It's just a handy weapon to have. It's a good crowd control weapon. If I need to knock something down slowly with Ken, he has better maneuvers anyway. I do always like to keep the Squirrel Needle, because, you know, if I can rationalize not blowing up an enemy in the innards that way, it'll just attack normally. Then we can see how many more creatures we need. I don't think we got the Kangaroo yet, and if we didn't go to the Rose Garden, and we didn't collect anything in that that watery cave where the cats are. We didn't collect any of those. That's uh, We should be pretty close to our, our 50 animals at that point. Like I was saying before, I've been playing the PC Engine version as well. I, I just finished Scenario B. It makes it really confusing when I do the, str when they, uh, do the uploads, because I'm like, wait, I already did all this. It's like, no, you didn't. You did it in the PC Engine version. You didn't even do this part yet. Yeah, like, I didn't go to the... There's a cave with some puzzles in the area, too. We'll get there as well. May as well show it off a little bit. Review filed animals? Nah. But we will talk to this fellow here. 34 species? Yeah, so we only need 16 more species. So, yeah, let's just go east of Doga fights, then. As promised, right here. So we gotta try to get some sea slugs to spawn. They only seem to spawn in the water. So we're gonna... Well, I mean, we do need to fight some more eagles if we want to get an eagle sword, so may as well... If they're gonna be so enthusiastic to get towards me. 302, 198. Uh, let's try. Yeah, we good. Linda level 8. Doesn't hurt to have Linda gain some... We got some leopards, I think, but we'll get more. Because they want to fight me, because they're right here. So let's do that, then, yeah, see... We'll worry about the sea slugs in a moment. We'll get them uh, secondarily, because it's a bit of a... It's a bit of an effort. So let's just go here. Let's get the aforementioned zebras. They tend to hang around these, you know, these palm trees here. Yeah, we have the crocodile too, I think. Oh, we don't have, uh, we don't have the boars yet, right? Yeah, either of the boars. Boar is honestly one of my favorite designs in this game. It's just so crazy. Look at this. Look at this insanity right here. Now, uh, these things making out must be quite the visual, I gotta say. Let's, uh, use air cutter. There, I got a lady boar. And we got a man boar. A man boar pig. Cobra twist. They got no cobra to twist, incidentally. Get off of my girlfriend. There. Level 9. <laughs> there, after that experience, Linda's like, Oh my god, I am so sexy. I have sex appeal now that this boar has pinned me to the ground. Where's my... where's my zebra? Neo-Kenyan zebra. I mean, those crocodiles are... are hungry for me. There they are. There's the... there's the zebra up there. There's another zebra. This thing looks like it would be, I don't know, like, Salvador Dali or something. The specific, uh, design. So we just took out a male one. Let's do, once again, air cutter. Close, and then Linda will be able to handle one of them just great. Like I- oh, come on, Linda. Well... Let's just use Breath of Fire. Probably should use the Acid Jet attack instead. Ah, but we're good. Okay, so we got the, the Zebra. We got... We still need the Sea Slug, so let's go for it. I mean, after we take out this Crocodile. I mean, Linda could use a few levels anyway, so... What's the harm? Ah, uh, that one. See, so yeah, a Sea Slug. Worst case scenario, we can wait until we get some traps. Get them that way. I would like Linda to get her, um... 
her tamer ability. I'd really like to get a wolf leveled up. I'd like to finish off the the Doga fights area. Do I have... Does she have the tamer ability now, actually? I didn't even look. Yeah, no, not yet. I want to say she gets it around, like, level 20 or something. Oh, there's a sea slug. Yeah, we need a lady sea slug. They have lots of hit points, though. We're probably not going to blow them up. I'll blow them up into innards. There we have it. You can do it. Very good. And they're probably good experience, too. Because of all the HP, we'll find out the level are they? Level 9, well, we'll find out. Alright, very good. Uh, we're gonna avoid the leopard. We have all kinds of room in the TCU yet, don't we? I wouldn't say all kinds, but a lot of stuff I can just throw away, so that's alright. Yeah, let's take a... Before we go in here, actually, let's check out Rose Garden. Make sure we got everything here. Now do we have Linda in the party. She should uh, be very handy for dealing with these insect creatures. Various and sundry insects. Oh yeah, I can't just dropship myself there. I don't... Did I get anything over here? I think we fought the camels. I'm not sure if we got the centipedes. We're gonna find out. I mean, we got the got the animal Bible. That's what it's for. But we'll at least get this camel. Then we'll be camouflaged and won't get attacked. One season, let's do it. Go outside. New season. You have no camel. Pay us again. I imagine it happens like that. But yeah, kangaroos can appear out here if you're at half health or lower. Uh, we're not, so they won't. I'll worry about it later. So let's just make sure that... I'm fairly certain we, yeah, got the camels. Yeah, we got a bunch of this stuff around here, but yeah, no, I, I'm pretty sure we didn't get centipedes and very hungry uh, insects from the Rose Garden. Centipedes were kind of around Galax last time. If I remember right. Or was it over here? Doesn't matter. There's some. Go get them. Collect them on the way. I think they're halfway resilient. I don't think I have to worry too much about making them explode with my ferocious power. If anything, they're too fast for me. Cobra twist! There, you're not going anywhere. Except in the ground. There, I think the Cobra twist will... I think it... I think they'll tap out to the Cobra twist here in short order. Tap out to the Cobra Twist. Yeah. Centipede tapped out. Go. Level 25, Ken. Ooh, 1700 experience. Delicious, Linda. Low growl. I mean, I could have fought that other one, but we didn't. So let's go this way. Get as close to the Rose Garden as we're able to. We got the crows. Right? If we don't, I'm sure we have crow eggs. Yeah, and this locust visor will probably uh, respawn. I don't want it, but it should be back. Yeah. yeah. It's right there. Also, I forget if it's this scenario. It must be. It was when I played the PC engine, so let's talk to... Uh, yeah. It's cutie as Dr. Flora's beloved talk talking flower, MC Alice. Like the blue pill? Like the minor bird, MC Alice remembers words and brings life to the entire home. One of these goes for 400, but since it's the last one, 100G, yes. Splendid, we'll deliver to Hardy as shortly. Give her lots of love, I will. Get it delivered to my house. Hello, I'm MC Alice. Pleased to meet you. Oh, good, a talking plant. That's not horrifying at all. How are, how are we doing over here? Can we camp in here? I don't believe so. Yeah, camp can't be set up here. I should probably camp outside and hope I don't get a uh, jump. Oh yeah, now I lost my camel, but that's okay. We will camp, like I said. Camp. There, we're not like 100% healed, but doing alright. So I think first thing to deal with right now... Uh, we'll, we'll handle, we'll get the locust. 
We need to talk to one of these flowers. They're actually pretty strong. They have around 800 hit points. Uh, but they can make locusts show up. And you have to capture the... You can't capture any plants for the arc. But you can cap... Oh yeah, there we go. Eagle Man, 115 attack. Defense goes down, HP goes down, but attack goes way up. But yeah, sometimes they won't bring locusts to the battle. They'll bring, like, smaller flowers. <laughs> Whittle it down while we can. Linda... What's this do? Yeah, lower its speed. <laughs> Linda flashed her top shamelessly? Oh my heavens. Oh, but it actually... Seem to distract it a little bit. There, like, yeah, let's get it whittled down a, a little bit. Hope that locusts come shortly. There we go, we got one of each locust. Well, Suki was a little overbearing. Cobra, uh, let's try uh, Cobra Twist. Dodge the blow, alright. Well, let's see if... Fireworks works. If this doesn't work, we'll try using Acid Jet next time. Huh? Oh yeah, that was perfect. We still need a... Still need a male. We might have to... Engage in another battle. I don't know how often they will summon enemies. Something appeared to the back. Was it actually Locust though? Okay. So we still need... I think it was the male Locust. I don't think we got a male. Cobra Twist. Very fast locusts can't be cobra twisted for some reason. But it seems like fireworks work, so let's do it to this one. Trial by fire. There. There, now we can avoid the rest of these big chungus flowers over here. Can you cobra twist the rose? That would probably hurt. Uh, you can though. Good job, Linda. Tag team maneuver, Cobra Twist into regular attack. Level 12, Linda. There, the Forager technique. Yeah, we'll definitely open the TCU. We can let the... Let out the crocodile for a while. So we'll do the stand here and wait technique. Because I believe you can also get moths, cockroaches. That reminds me. I don't know if it's only the cockroaches, but one time when I was here, I hit the cockroach with my squirrel needle, and the squirrel needle broke. So I don't know, if, like, the cockroach is, like, what, carapace or, like, exoskeleton or whatever. That's a hornet, I believe. Which we have already. Like, if it's so strong that that's why the weapon broke or... or what. I think it can just happen occasionally, but it's, like, not a super common thing. You know, there's a cockroach right there. But yeah, you can... as you can see, you can't... well, I mean, I guess you can't really see, but... I'm trying to move to the rose, but you can't because it's... Not an animal you can get on the Ark, so it's not in the Animal Bible. But we will grab some cock roaches. Uh, can... 308 attack, 200 defense. Probably won't explode into innards. Nope. Then, uh, do the Cobra Twist. Five damage, alright. That should be enough damage. So let's... Ken will probably make it explode. Ah, uh, its defense is 236. That's pretty good. Just a touch. Ah. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. There's another cockroach nearby anyways. It's not a huge deal. It's not a huge deal until we get into the fight and it's only a male cockroach. Just one singular solitary male cockroach. Linda's gaining some good levels here, though. Let's let the crow go. Brandon Lee, you can... Do your thing. Okay, we do have another lady. Uh, Breath of Fire. I can't imagine cockroaches would be too, uh... There we go. Let's also Cobra Twist. I wouldn't imagine cockroaches would enjoy fire. I've never asked one. Yeah, uh, actually, let's do Acid Jet. It acts like poison. It also does, you know, a little damage, see? Right? Just like that. Um... Yeah. Let's get rid of, I guess, the one leopard. The one leopard lady can go. 
So yeah. Moths, yeah, and sometimes you will just randomly encounter enemies here. It's just these little, these little flowers. They're effectively random encounters here. You can't see them. I don't know if there's a way to predict where they're going to spawn. They're not too big of a deal. Oh, is that the... that's a moth right there. Yeah, and we, we did... I didn't imagine that, did I? We, I think we learned red carpet with Linda. Which will be great for dealing with the moths. Which means we should also take our... Our puppers and put them in the back row. Because they will just eat the moths in one gulp. Figuratively. Now let's get back to this screen, which I like the most. Yeah, but it's got a couple different ones, but this is my favorite. Ken, sh strong as a shark, as defensive as a cat, fast as a shrimp. Linda's as strong as a dog, defensive as a leech, speed of a lizard. Man. Yeah, I don't have either of the moths. But yeah, this is where a red carpet really shines. We only got the one. Do we have dung, actually? Let's just throw the dung. Toss dung. This is just the one. <clears throat> we gotta find another one, though. Want both eagles. Oh, I can throw away a lot of this stuff, honestly. Get rid of the camel. The solitary camel. But now we need a, another moth. We don't need a hornet. We don't need a cockroach. I think that'll be everything once we get the moth. So we'll just stand here for a minute and do that whole strategy of stand here for a minute until something spawns here. Oh yeah, we got all kinds of mods. There's the boy moth. Which we have already. I'll still throw a... I'll still throw a dump. We can get more dung. Oh yeah, let's just show this now. Uh, red carpet. Yeah, red carpet. So this is what red carpet does. It makes whatever square you cast it on turn into fire. So long as they... Well, that's not great. But like, so long as they stay on top of... Uh, that wasn't ideal. But there's another moth. So long as they stay on top of it for a couple of turns. Really? Where's all the... Where's all the mist moths at? Let's try it again. Let's try it in this fight. You know, assuming we don't get confused, and they don't move off of the spot, after a couple turns, they'll, they'll take exactly 10 damage. So we'll just... Who learned Hump Day? Was it Linda? Yes. Hump Day. Linda cycled her fat into energy. Is that what we do on Hump Day? There we go. Come on, Lady Moth. I don't believe they're rare. Anyway, I'll I'll come back when I find a Lady Moth. I haven't found a Lady Moth yet, but it just occurred to me that... There's... I don't think I ever mentioned this, but there, there's certain areas like here. It's considered like a town, even though it's a dungeon. So time doesn't actually flow here. So if you want to come here and just grind and grind and grind and not have... Not have to worry about the time flowing. Rose Garden's good for that. Uh, places where you fight the catfish are good for that. Found another moth. Is it a lady moth this time? I don't know why the lady moths are so rare. There we go. Finally got one. I might be better off just hucking dung at them all, actually. Toss. Toss. I should have used acid on that, actually. Uh, but we'll just... We'll go ahead. I still can next turn, but we'll throw red... We'll roll out the red carpet. See if we can make the carpet match the drapes here. Oh, Linda's confused. That's not good. We better... We better try dropping some acid on Ms. Moth here. 26 damage. I'd have to do like 40 to blow her up. Yeah, perfect. There, got all the moths. Can't fit moth. Uh, well, fine. Let's... Camel... Yeah, let's get rid of the camel. There, and I think that's everything. We did learn Bloodhound through Linda. Don't smell anything new. There. Wouldn't hurt to poke around a little before leaving. I'm not 100% sure. I think that just means that Linda's like, Hey, there's treasure in here. I think she might be referring to this. 
Is she gonna say that again? Let's actually check that. No. <laughs> what? What'd she say? Beneath the fresh scents of roses lays hints of danger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you say that anywhere in here? I don't know if I've ever used it inside buildings or not. Maybe it's just because it's the Rose Garden. Might have to see if there's other situational dialogue in here. Yeah, that's alright. So how much... How much stuff do we have to put in the yard? Uh... I mean, not really that much stuff. Not that much stuff, but I... Th I'm not sure how long this episode's gonna be. So I think now would be a good time to... to cut this episode. So thanks for joining for another episode of Linda Cubed again again. Next time, we're definitely going to at least revisit the underground cave area with, like, the sharks and the cats and stuff. We'll also head to the southwest cave that has all the scorpions and stuff in it. And ideally, by then, we'll get a voicemail telling us what to do next. So I'll see you tomorrow, if not before then. Again.